You can't do that. Do you understand, Teddy? Telling lies is bad. You just can't, okay? Okay, don't do it again. Hello, and assalamu alaikum. I've just been speaking to Teddy about his behavior. He told me that he was telling his friend lies to show off and sometimes just for fun. That reminds me of the meerkat in today's story. Millie the meerkat, written by Oakley Graham. There once was a young meerkat called Millie who was bored as she sat on an earth mound taking her turn as lookout. To amuse herself, Millie took a great big breath and barked out, Snake! Snake! A snake is approaching the baby meerkat's burrow! All the other meerkats came running out of their own burrows to help Millie drive the snake away. But when they arrived at the top of the mound, they found no snake. Millie laughed at the sight of their angry faces. Don't bark snake, Millie, said the other meerkats, if there's no snake. Later that day, Millie was feeling even more bored and barked out again. Snake, snake, a snake is approaching the baby meerkat's burrow. To her mischievous delight, Millie watched as the other meerkats rushed to the mound to help her drive away the snake. But when the other meerkats arrived at the top of the mound, they found no snake. Again, Millie laughed at the sight of their angry faces. Don't bark snake, Millie, repeated the other meerkats, if there's no snake. <laughs> Late in the afternoon, Millie saw a real snake slithering close to the baby meerkat's burrow. Alarmed, Millie leapt to her feet and barked out as loudly as she could. Snake! Snake! A snake is approaching the baby meerkat's burrow! But the other meerkats just thought that Millie was trying to fool them again, so they didn't come out to help her. Outside, as the day turned to night, Everyone wondered why Millie hadn't returned for her supper. They went to look for Millie and found her crying on top of the lookout mound. There really was a snake here. The baby meerkats have scattered. I barked out snake as loudly as I could, sobbed Millie. Why didn't you come and help me? A wise old meerkat tried to comfort Millie as they walked back to the village. We'll help you look for the lost meerkat babies, he said, putting his arm around Millie. You have learned an important lesson today, Millie. Nobody believes a liar, even when they're telling the truth. The entire meerkat colony helped Millie look for the lost babies, and once they were all found, they tucked them up safely in their burrows. Millie was very sorry for what she had done and promised that she would never lie to her family and friends again. So we all now know that lying for fun really is no joke. And I think Teddy has learned a valuable lesson. What do we do? We don't lie, isn't that right? See you next time. Oh, I could never be mad at you. You're my Teddy.